Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to continue the discussion about microprofile fault tolerance with Quarkus. And more in detail, we are going to see how to use the timeout, circuit breaker and retry feature. Let's start. Create a new project, Quarkus, click on next. Group will be org.js artifact Quarkus service message the class name org.js dot message resource and the path not hello but slash message and then click on next. Here let's select Restisi Jax RS and Restisi Jackson and then click on finish. Very good, now let's open the source, main, java folder and remove the resteasy jackson package, delete and then also inside the test folder the package org.js, delete. Very good, now let's go inside the message resource and here let's remove the produce annotation, change the name here from hello to message and here I'm going to return hello from Quarkus service message. Good. Now let's open the application properties and put quarkus.http port 8081 and then quarkus.http dot access log enable not false but true. Good. Now let's open the terminal and type mvn compile quarkus dev to run the project in development mode. Very good, the server is up and running and is on a port 8081 and here we have the RESTEASY and RESTEASY Jackson extension. Now let's open a new terminal and try with curl to call http slash slash local host 8081 slash message. Hello from Quarkus service message. Ok, our endpoint is working very well. Now let's close this terminal, let's leave it open the terminal here and then let's create a new project. Let's create a new Quarkus project, so file new project Quarkus, click on next, the group org.js artifact Quarkus rest client class name org.js.message resource and then the path slash message. Click on next. Here let's select resteasyjaxrs, resteasyjackson and then rest client, rest client jackson and then click on next and then finish. In the same way inside the source main java remove the resteasy jackson package delete and then inside the test the package org.js very good now open the message resource remove the produce annotation change the name from hello to message And here, instead of returning hello rest easy, we are going just to call our slash message inside the Quarkus service message. So here I'm going to put client.get and of course client will be a rest client message client client. Now let's create this message client, will be an interface, 
inside the package org.js. Let's register this message client as REST client, so register REST client. The path will be, of course, slash message with just one method, the return a string with the name get annotated with get. Now let's open the application properties and here let's put quarkus.http port 8080 quarkus.http.access log enable from false to true and then org.js message client mprest url I'm going to put http slash slash local host 8081 and then org.js message client mprest scope javax.inject.singleton very good now open the terminal and run the project development mode mvn compile quarkus dev good our server is up and running and is on port 8080 with all our dependencies rest client rest client jackson rest easy and rest easy jackson so let's try it curl http slash localhost 8080 slash message good we received the string hello from quarkus service message very well now let's go in inside quarkus service message let's just stop the server and go back inside the quarkus rest client and try it again so here you can see a lot of logs and we don't want to show all these log we want we want to have a fallback method what we need to do we need to first import the macro profile fault tolerance dependencies in our project so open the pomxml here let's copy this dependency for example let's put it here and let's change the artifact id from quarkus to quarkus small ry fault tolerance very good now go inside message resource and here let's use the annotation fallback that I described in the previous video. Let's add here the properties fallback method, fallback message, and here I'm going to write private string fallback message and then return fallback message very good let's try open again the terminal and again curl http localhost 8080 slash message very good now instead of the log we fall back to the method fallback message and we return fallback message as a string very good now let's go again inside the quarkus service message let's run it again uh, let's call it and now we receive again the message hello from quarkus service message very good but now what's happening for example the quarkus service message will take time to respond so for example here inside the message method we can write time unit dot milliseconds dot sleep and here we can put like one second okay but we can put like for example 5000 milliseconds we need to catch this we need let's put a try catch okay when we call the endpoint less message we need to wait five seconds to receive a response so let's try go inside the quarkus rest client and again curl http 
slash slash local host 8080 slash message and here one two three four five see but of course here we can put minutes and we can wait a lot of times okay we can wait like 10 minutes okay so we need to wait 10 minutes we don't want to wait uh, so much time so in our Quarkus REST client we can use a, a new annotation coming from macro profile fault tolerance that is called timeout and here let's first import it and here we can set the millisecond that we can wait so I'm going to put here like 2000 millisecond okay so I'm going to wait two second and then I'm going to fall back to the fallback message here I'm going to put again millisecond let's put here one second and let's try we received a law from Quarkus service message in our Qu Quarkus REST client message endpoint we can wait two seconds to receive a response from Quarkus REST service message so in this case inside the Quarkus service message we wait one second to send back the response and in Quarkus REST client we uh, allow to wait two seconds but what happened if for example here inside the Quarkus service message I'm going to put 5000 milliseconds so 5 seconds let's see let's try it again and here you can see the fallback message because the Quarkus service message will take too much time in this case 5 seconds to send back a response and in, in our Quarkus REST client we allow to wait 2 seconds and then after 2 seconds we fall back to the fallback message I open both projects side by side because I want to show you one thing First of all, let's try to call every one second our Quarkus service message. So let's type while true do slip one curl http local host 8080 slash message ho minus e and then done. So in this case we call the Quarkus REST service, we wait until maximum 2 seconds, we fall back to the fallback message and again we call the Quarkus REST service, we fall back, we call the Quarkus REST service, we fall back, etc. etc. So this one is not, is not good by, by design because it's better to not call each time Quarkus service it for example we call it after uh, four or five times. Microprofile fault tolerance provides us with a uh, annotation circuit breaker and I'm going to show you right now to you. Let's keep it uh, open and inside the message resource here let's put the annotation circuit here from Eclipse Microprofile fault tolerance then let's put the properties or request volume threshold for then failure ratio 0 0.5 delay 4000 and then success threshold 2 let's put here 200 and here 1000 very good now let's open the terminal let's clear the buffer clear the buffer here and let's call our service each second fallback 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 okay good so okay, we have one two three four five message fallback message coming from the fallback method okay but inside the quarkus uh, service we see in the log just two of the slash message calls what does it mean it mean that we the annotation circuit breaker 
request volume threshold 4 and success threshold 2. In this case, we, we mean that the circuit breaker has been opened when two of the last four invocation fail. Now let's, for example, increase the delay of our circuit breaker from four seconds to, for example, eight seconds. And let's see what's happened. One call. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try it again. Call. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Call. It's failed. So let's wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try it again call and so and so on so instead of calling each time our service when two of the last call failed we'll wait eight seconds we can also use another annotation the annotation retry inside the annotation retrieve i'm going to put the uh, i will put four okay to test it i'm going to remove just the circuit breaker annotation very good and then let's try it so Let's try. One, two, three, four, fallback. One, two, three, four, fallback. Etc. 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 Let's try with uh, max retry one. Let's stop it. Clear the buffer. And then one, 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 fallback, one, fallback, call, fallback, fallback, and wait for example, five. Fallback one, two, three, four, five. Fallback one, two, three, four, five. Fallback. And then I'm going to put again here one. Thank you for watching this video. You can find the source code of this video inside my GitHub repository, Quarkus Macro Profile Full Tolerance Power 2. Feel free to clone it. And if you have any questions or doubts, please don't hesitate to write me a comment. I hope you liked the video. See you in the next video about Quarkus. Bye.